Hello there, Wellzam Gamer here, and I am bringing you a Hearthstone match. I am playing with my Shaman deck, and I am Thrall facing Gul'dan, Gul'dan, the Warlock. Your soul shall be mine. So I'm starting out with uh, three low-cost cards and a Bloodlust. I like that. I like that a lot. Got something to do now, and a Bloodlust for later. <clears throat> Pretty good start, in my opinion. Why do you call? So he's going to start off throwing out a cheap tank. I am going to do the same, but I am going to use the tank that I have that has an attack, because that will be kind of useful to have a tiny bit of damage Ready available. Whereas my other one, which has four health, yes, but um, no attack. So he's going to life tap early. I don't quite get why he would do that, but you know, to each his own. So I have nothing really to do here, so I'm going to pull up a totem. A healing totem would be wonderful for me right now. And that's wonderfully what I got. I'm going to end my turn, get healed up, and let you chip away at my replenishing health. You no know, take candle. No take candle. Silly kobold. Silly tank chipping away at your own health. Alright, that uh that could be useful. I can I think I'm gonna go ahead and kill you now. What else can I do? Yeah, we'll throw out the other tank. You shall not pass. A little bit of uh, wind fury damage never hurts. At a cost of one mana, can't argue. Ready for action. Another cheap tank for you. All right. Well, that's useful. Damage is wonderful. Ready for action. Another cheap tank. I definitely see the play there. Pass me that arc light spanner. extra spell damage I wonder you know, 
Freeze. Not kill you, but one health is uh, pretty low enough for me. Two arms! There's no need to kill you. Not yet. There's little time. Lots of murlocs and a charge. Way to get a presence on the board. Take out my tank. Nice. I'm actually surprised that guy's been on the board so long. <laughs> Maybe I'll go ahead and throw another totem out. Had this thing the whole fight, I don't think I'll need it for anything. My six mana. I usually like to save it to uh, bring out something earlier than I could have, but I'm, I operate a lot more heavily on a low mana cost and medium mana cost, so I'm about ready for. Everything that I All could done. do. Ah, get behind me. Okay, smart move. my damage. But, eh, your move. And, um, uh, yeah, pretty I sure I have here. this, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's four, uh, yep, I, I, I pretty much got this. Goodbye, Mr. Warlock. <laughs> Goodbye. Sure, he, I'm sure he wish he had this warning before this happened. I sort of gave it to him. Well played. Gave him a well played. Job, but eh, still. Can you attack him. Can you attack him. Can you attack him. I'm pretty proud of that one. It's hard for me to figure out what in this game is OP. I, priests are widely complained about as being overpowered. Um, mind control, lots of damage, and lots of damage and healing. But uh, I, I think that's a relatively well played strategy. I mean, it does rely on you having things up towards the end to kill him. And, uh,. He didn't take my stuff down, so I guess at least that part's on him. So, thank you all for watching. If you like my videos, please remember to like and subscribe.